Okay, I got the bottom on, as you can see here. And uh, got part of the roof on. I didn't run a cut two way through across here yet. She opens up pretty good. Now for insulation inside the floor, because that's where a lot of your heat is lost, I am um, down here. Oh, I love this new gimbal. Just hit the joystick and boom. I love it. I ran this blue styrofoam stuff, and this stuff is not cheap, guys. It was 20 bucks for one sheet. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So, I uh, put that inside here, which brought it up halfway. And I thought, well, I got all that extra room. Let's take uh, some of that straw I bought and throw that in there too. So I threw that on top. And then I cocked all the way around here really good. Well, that looks pretty good. <sighs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I just finished the top off. The sides, the front, the back. And uh, we're going to have a pretty nice cat house. Really well insulated. That's going to keep him warm all winter. Okay. Um, have a look at the roof. Yep, we got this in here. So now we just got to put a piece of plywood on top of it and then shingle it. And we'll be okay. So, still got the sides, the front, and the back to do. Yeah. I was really worried about that little spot there, but the insulation is going to come up in there. I'll throw some caulking in there too. I ain't going to let no air in it anywhere. Boy, oh boy. The lid's not too heavy. Not too heavy at all. Okay, we'll come back to it. Okay! Here's what we got so far. And if we can get in on this, I'm not sure. But you can see, I got the blue foam. And I squirted some of that. I'm going to cut this off after. But it's got about two inches, maybe more, of um, insulation. And uh, the floor is definitely really, really, really thick. Sorry about the shadows. So that'll be pretty cool. Then, up we go. Ooh, it's heavy. There we go. Now I gotta paint it, is what I gotta do. The back wall, I really doubled up on the insulation. For that, we had some extra pieces, why not? Fill that with straw. Got to give it a paint job. Got to put some shingles on the roof. Add some indoor plumbing. Add some electrical. And if we were smaller people, we'd have a tiny house. <laughs> there we go. Alright, one cat house, I think, pretty much done. We even gave it shingles. I need to fix the top yet. I found some paint at uh, Lowe's for five bucks a quart. So I didn't get to pick the color, guys. But I don't think the cat's gonna mind. I think, uh... As long as the cat's warm, I think he'll be fine. I still got to put a little bit of foam up here to seal that up, but other than that, it's done. Completely coated with two coats of paint, exterior paint of course, so I'll throw that on the porch and uh, 
let it dry so by tomorrow the cat should have a new home you can actually buy these cat houses online other people make them I'll give you a link in the bottom to a couple websites you want to check out if you got some uh, cats outside running around you might want to uh, think about building them a nice house for the winter and uh, maybe get them fixed I've even heard some people have told me that if you inquire to vet's office being that it is a uh, kind of stray cat they'll give you a deal on fixing them there's apparently programs you might want to check into so you could be saving a cat getting it fixed and uh, you don't have to take it in the house if you don't want to that turned out pretty good though nice little home kitty 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 where are you I got I got straw and I got a house catch you guys later